Hello everybody, Mr. Dungeon Cat here, and boy, has it been a long time, something like five or six months. Anyways, um, I finally decided to make a video, and so uh, here it is. I'm actually going to be playing a game here called Betrayer. It's still an alpha, it's made by Black Powder Games, and it's sort of a action-adventure type thing. So, um, yeah. Pretty much, you start off just playing uh, an, an Englishman, I guess, or Englishman, I'm not too sure, it doesn't really tell you. Let's say it's Englishman, and you just start off here, and immediately, immediately you notice something special. Uh, it's that everything is black and white, so uh, I think that's really cool. I mean, you sort of adjust to it fairly quickly, because well, I can't really explain why you adjust to it, but uh, although at the beginning it's kind of uh, strange, you adjust to it pretty quickly, and I think it's really cool looking after, so... The game is mostly black, white, and red. So yeah, let's just start off by collecting the stuff here. Nothing was in there. Um, yeah. Oh, break. Alright. And pretty much, you play a character who is just, uh, I'm pretty sure you come from that ship there. You're an English person. The ship that went by was a, uh, Spanish ship, I'm guessing, and uh, it's during like the colonial time period, and the Spanish and the English are at war, I guess, and those are maybe privateers or something who uh, sunk our ship, and we've arrived here, and we're going to be exploring the colony, I guess, or whatever's left of the colony here, because quickly you'll see that, you know, all is not right in the colony that's supposed to be up the hill here, and anyways, as I said earlier, the game is an alpha, so, um, at the, for the moment, or for the time being, there's only the tutorial here that we're doing, and a larger open area that's available, but, uh, the entire game isn't necessarily, uh, out yet, but, yeah, I plan on just sort of playing through this, um, alpha here. Um, and if, in case anyone's interested, the game is available on Steam for... I think fifteen dollars, and that's the uh, that's it's like a reduced price at the moment. I think because the game is still in alpha, and you're pre-ordering or not pre-ordering, but getting early access and supporting the developers. So yeah, God, this forest is it's just so. I think that bird just flew out or a rock there, if that was even a bird. Anyways. Okay, there's someone up there, like Red Riding Hood, with a bow, and she's gonna shoot this. Bye bye, I guess. Uh, let's read this. So, I hope that I may trust you, but I cannot take any chances. Know that the Spanish fleet did not intercept your ship by mere chance. You will find more enemies than friends here, and more questions than answers. Alright. That's, uh,. Interesting. Let's hit end to go have a look at the notes here. Uh, all right. Arrow messages. I guess here we can a list of colonists we can meet. Some clues because that's the idea of the game. It's to find or unravel the mystery of this uh, colony here. Our inventory, which currently, I guess we have nothing. Weapons, charms, meh. escape. Let's continue on. So atmospheric. I really like this. And uh, currently I'm playing the graphics on medium. Uh, but I think the game still looks really good. And I'm not sure. Maybe having it black and white sort of ob and sort of obscures uh, anything if the game were perhaps... Uh, or like obscures issues. But, you know, just it's really good looking. Let's continue on. There's another of those there, so I'm guessing she'll shoot an arrow. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's read this. So, you will need a weapon. This bow shall serve you until uh, you can find better. Recover arrows wherever you can, or whenever. Beware the Spaniards, for they have much changed and are now more beasts than men. I found them easiest to kill when catching them unaware, as their rage makes them stronger. Arrows may sometimes deflect, so be ready with your dagger in case they get close. Alright. So using the dagger, I think I hit uh, E? Yeah. Alright. 
Let's continue on. So we can aim down the sights, sort of, even though we're with a bow here. Let's continue on. Can we crouch? Alright, yeah, we can. I'm guessing there will be an enemy up here because it's just given us a weapon. Okay, there's definitely one over here. Oh, here he comes. Okay, down he goes. Three hour arrows. But I guess we got some coins. Uh, how do I get these arrows? Oh, I just walk on them. So, huh, Spanish conquistadors, which, if I look at the map here, okay, so we have a little coastal path here. This is like the uh, tutorial map, I guess. If I close this, we have a larger map. I guess we're, uh, uh, yeah, so we're on the coast here, the New World. And this doesn't look like South America, so I'm wondering why the conquistadors, or why there are conquistador-styled Spaniards here and not just more sailor-like, but anyways, I'm not a historical, or I don't know much about history kind of stuff, so let's just continue on. Or I don't know what the Spanish were wearing back then, really. What's this? Chest. Alright. 26 coins. Let's continue on. Okay, there's a little gate here, so maybe that that's announcing the end of the level here. No? Alright, yeah. I was right. So, we're moving from the beach to Forest Edge. Uh, interesting. Um, let's just wait, and... Alright. So I think this might be the more open world portion here, where we can sort of explore around and... look around and stuff, so... What's this? A plant? Is there going to be an arrow here? Nah. Pistol load. So, yeah, there are a bunch of different weapons here. So, at the moment, there's the tomahawk, the um, bow and arrow, or the short bow. The, there will be the long bow, a crossbow, a pistol, and a flintlock rifle, I think. So, yeah. It's this. I'm going to check the inventory. Uh, that sounded uh, not so good, so I'm just going to back off a bit here and have a look in the inventory. So, short bow. Do we have any charms yet? No, we do not. Clues. Nothing. Columnist. Notes. Still nothing. Alright, let's continue on. Escape. Because we can hear one, I'm just going to sort of circle around here, up the hill. What's that? Oh, just plants. Oh, there he is. Ah, uh, that was a bad hit. Oh, there he is. Down. Let's continue. Can't see any others yet, so... Gold doubloon, huh? Let's just get our arrow and... Yeah. So I wonder if you can upgrade the bow or get like a long bow that would pierce armor, maybe? Although, are these like metal-tipped arrows? I don't know. Or are they just flint? Is there anything up here? Let's see. Oh, there's an enemy over there. Seems there's a fort there, so let's investigate. That might be the colony. Um, God, I really like the art style. It's quite nice. And the sound is really good, too. Alright, so he's up there. I'm going to sort of see if I can sneak up on him.
can't see him. Further, yeah, they sound like zombies. Oh, he has a gun. Why won't he die? Okay, there. He's down. So I guess that was the rifle there. Probably not the best at uh, long range. Just because of, you know, these being old guns. Maybe it was a pistol, though. I don't know. All I know was that it was loud and made smoke. Let's continue on. It seems there's another road branching off here with another enemy down there. And there's this fort here, so let's approach. This is an English fort, it would seem. And someone's opened the gate. Uh, unlocked Fort Henry. So let's look at our notes here. Uh... Fort Henry. Alright. Well, so, an isolated, deserted fort. Um, and apparently we can fast travel here. So let's just explore. It seems pretty deserted. Um, what? <laughs> did not expect him. Where did he come from? Oh. Oh, and we are down. Didn't realize, uh, we took that much damage there. Uh, we gonna respawn? Uh, I brought you here and tended your wounds, but I had to leave the valuables you were carrying. You did, the, you had the best recover time, uh, you had best recover them before you fall in battle again. Or they will surely be lost forever. Your compass will mark the way. Be warned, the enemy reinforcements arrived in the area, so tread carefully. Wonderful. Wait, now he's gone? Really? <sighs> oh boy. Let's have a look here. So, Indian arrows and tended for the head of a sentry. Alright. Uh, apparently there's a little statue thingy there. Um... <laughs> Drinking from a barrel or with, with uh, <laughs> mumbling, restore my health. So let's just drink a bit. Let's open this. Uh, dear sir or madam, I have come into possession of a number of fine items that I will gladly part with for a modest sum. I believe you will find these wares to be of exceptional quality and indisputable value. I will put my trust in your honor and leave pay to leave payment for whatsoever you choose to purchase. Please check back from time to time to see whatever new items I may have required. Respectfully, John Hoey, or Ho, merchant. So maybe we aren't alone in this settlement. That has to be settled, I guess. All right, so this is the shop, I guess. So how much does a, hmm, a musket, how much does this cost? 450, 250. Alright, and then we can buy arrows and tomahawks and stuff. And at the moment, they just have a short bow. Oh, but there are longbow arrows. Alright. Let's just exit for the moment. I don't really want to buy anything. That's interesting. Uh, a bell used to be mounted here, probably for colonists to pray or signal danger. There's the barrel there. Let's just uh, this. pick up a uh, longbow ammo. Guess we can't break that. Let's have a look at this. A figure that appears human made of ash and ember. Well, that's creepy. Uh, more stuff around here. Okay, a bell. Could probably be remounted where it hung. Uh, let's, let's pick something up here. A pistol load and a message. The Savage King, whom they call Weroance, or Weroans, was much pleased by our gifts of tools and trinkets and gave us in return an abundance of corn and bear meat, which is of excellent victual. Oh, which is an excellent victual. We were served by his daughter, Amanut. A most inquisitive and lovely girl. Alright. 
Anything down here? Yes, there is. Nope, nothing to get there, though. Uh, oh! There's a person up here. Another ash figure. God, these things are really freaky. I don't like them. Uh, let's just continue. Okay. Hen pair. Hen pen there, maybe something like that. Let's see another chest. Some coins. Uh, some more arrows. It's strange, you know. If they said they were trading with the Indians, why would they be attacked? Charm of the Musketeer. Let's have a look in our inventory. Um, so, reload muskets 10% faster. Let's equip this and exit. That's interesting. Um, and a note from correspondence of William Eastgrove. According to our prisoner, the Spaniards seek the Spaniards seek to destroy settlements that might be used for privateering against their treasure fleets and uh, will surely come at us again. We need reinforcements if we are to repel further attack. Alright. Is that maybe the Spaniards enlisted Indians to help them? I don't know. Let's have a look here. Barnaby Burden. Yeah, alright. Colonists, nothing. And Fort Henry. Strange human figures. Hmm. Interesting. Let's continue on. A little exploration here. Uh, there's something here. From correspondence of Lewis Archard. I regret that we cannot spare any men to send to Fort Henry, for we are uh, harried constantly by the naturals, who have recently grown more hostile towards, our, towards us for unknown reasons. Alright, so maybe the... Spaniards were working with them? I don't know. And the shop, which we still don't have enough money to buy much with. Damage. Huh. Alright, let's exit. And replace the bell. Well, let's ring it. Okay, and... Every, all of a sudden, it's very dark, and there is a thing. Nope, okay, the statues aren't alive. Let's go have a look. Who are you? You're a ghost, or something. Meh. Yeah. You have a mustache, and strange eyes. Stay back, what manner of fiend are you? I mean you no harm. What do you want of me? Only to ask some questions, then ask and haunt me no further. Well, you're a ghost. You're haunting... Meh. Anyways, what happened to you? I can't remember. Only that someone was screaming that I must be made to pay. For what? My sins. But I am sure that I have done nothing to invite such wrath. Where is everyone? Lost in the darkness, as I was. Their voices carry on in the wind. Can you not hear them? I hear only the echo of the bell. And you're not listening. You must listen if you wish to hear. I shall heed your advice. Whoa. Alright. So I guess she'll just stay here. Um, we can... If we hit X, we... Ah, uh, I hear it. I hear something. And, ah, that's strange. So depending on where we look, it'll, like, make a noise if we hit X. Huh. Let's have a look at our map here. Not sure what all of this is. So, Fort Henry. There are a bunch of roads leading off that we can probably explore. Looks like there might be some houses down there. And a road leading off in this direction. Hmm. Alright. That's the forest edge. Let's close this. And we are here. So I'm guessing at the, um, or when the full game is released, everything will be around here. And also, if I look at the, uh, uh, compass thingy at the top, so that's the exit, that's healing, 
dropped items, player loot, mystery, destination, and quest. Okay, I'm going to exit. And so there's the uh, place leading to the beach. That's for healing. What's the circle? All right, the circle is a destination. So that's a place we can probably explore. And at the moment, there's not much else. Now this gate is opened here, meaning I guess we can go explore that way. But I'll leave all of that for the next episode. It's been fun playing. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.